welcome back to another video. Welcome to a special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. We are here with Brett Bam Moore, Bam Bam the RV Man, from all the <laughs> yeah. way from Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah? Joining us at the Fort Myers RV Show. Now, Bam really wanted to be in a review. I did. And so, this is gonna be a little different because the slide outs are open, and it's not gonna be uh, as long of an in-depth review, but we're gonna have Bam show us this beautiful Armada 44LE, and we're gonna give you three things we like about it, three things we don't like it. So first and foremost, who is Brett Bam? Brett Bam Moore out of Salt Lake City, Utah, from Boise, I always claim Idaho. There you go. Ah, representing always. But I do live in Utah, I'm out of the Utah store. I am Matt's premier Western partner. Oh, uh, easy now, <laughs> I got a lot of premier partners. <laughs> Come on. Brett, show us this Armada 44 LE. So tell All us right. a little bit about the outside, then we'll hop in on the inside. Definitely. So the Armada 44 LE is a beautiful, magnificent coach, okay? Can you, you find have, that music, Will? You have Sorry. Got, you have got the, of course, the full body. Yep. Sickens paint, right? Beautiful, beautiful coach. Of course, your Alcoa outsides down here, you're not gonna have that blue stripe, but it's gonna be shiny, beautiful chrome. Yes, it does sit on the Titan Bridge chassis, which is an XCM chassis. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so the Titan chassis is actually, um, so Rev Group, which is Holiday Rambler, Fleetwood, and American Coach. Yep. They build, uh, they get the ends from Freightliner, and then they put their, their uh, bridge chassis onto, over it, put, hook it together, and then it makes a huge storage, very sturdy, uh, one of the one of the nicest, quietest riding coaches. Perfect, let's take a look at the storage. And then while you're doing that, tell us a little bit about the engine and horsepower and the yeah, length. Absolutely. So this unit's what, 44 feet long? Okay, this is what I always tell people. It's 44 feet is what it's called, but it's got it's, it's always a foot or so bigger than what it says. Okay, okay? So perfect. So right in here, you have your fridge slash freezer slash cooler, however you want to use it, slides out, and you can set it to the temperature you want. Okay, and what about engine and horsepower and everything? Okay, so you're 450 horse. Yep. Right, and uh, that's going to give you plenty of power to hit the, hit those hills. Uh, mountain eater. Some people refer to them as mountain eaters, right? In Utah, we got lots of mountains. Okay. Lots of mountains. Continue on. Okay. So over here, um, you've got a big storage with slide out. It goes east east to west. Either way you want to slide it out, it'll slide out. You've got your exterior TV. Show us. Tailgate. If anybody wants to uh, watch the game. Now I'm out from Utah lots of sports out there okay um, people are utah and byu fans except for me i'm a boise state fan represent. there you go okay boise easy now all right so right here, hey jen bing show the picture of brett um on espn with his boise state outfit <laughs> blue orange top hat okay okay so here's another big huge pass-through storage right yep and you can get an extra uh There's tray going in there can you turn that off extra tray if you want yeah just just shut the tv please okay. So um, extra tray can slide in there. And then in here, another giant storage. Yes. Okay. And under here, you saw that ladder. That's actually the ladder that hooks on the back because if you have that ladder on all the time, kids can climb up there, you're worried about it. So keep the kids off the roof, put the ladder underneath. It also keeps Matt's RV off the roof because I do not like that ladder personally. <laughs> all right. So in here- And hey, you know what? My thing is if a kid climbs the roof, and gets hurt, that's called Darwinism. Hey, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> <laughs> no, show us what we got going on here. All right, so you got you got the surge protector, um, you've got some of the brains of everything going yep. on. You have your uh, central back, right? Yep. With, which has a kick sweep, I'll show you inside later. Perfect. Now tell us about this steerable tag axle. This is phenomenal, okay? The steerable tag uh, will get you, is it 57 degree wheel cut? You know, that's a Tom Bennett question, but I believe it is I, 57. I, I 57 I know, wheel yeah. Cut. I know Tom is a little bit more nuts and bolts, but I'm better looking, so. <laughs> um, so this has got your steerable tag, yep. uh, which is gonna add those additional degrees of turn. Um, and it also reduces your wheel scrub. Uh, what happens when you're with these big coaches, you make a big turn and um, it really just pivots on those tires. Okay. That wheel scrub, right? Wears them down. Got it. And the tire size is 275-80R22.5 with the shiny Accuride rims. Beauty, eh? Commu Continue, Continue on. Oh yeah, so the V-Ride. Yep. V-Ride, so the Ultra Steer, which we already told you about, the steerable tag, but the V-Ride, um, you guys have seen lots of uh, lots of coaches pull out of a parking lot and goes do, 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 right? Okay. Side to side. This is gonna reduce that, and it's also gonna keep you from doing the swaying as you're going down the road. Sure. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, a little bit more storage, right? And 
your um, this is your hydraulic fluid right here, and of course your your big inverter. I believe this is the two thousand. I think it's a three thousand watt 3, 000, inverter. Three thousand watt inverter. Yes, sir. Okay. And then coming around the back, we got a fifteen thousand pound hitch with the air compressor. If you do want to have that air ride brake system, again, you can see the four hundred fifty how it says XCM, which is the modular chassis, Titan bridge, air compressor for a stacker trailer, Air Force One brakes. It is a one piece fiberglass roof and you got your backup cameras there. Also, you have the really nice Gerard awnings over there. Okay. Very, very special. Okay. Let, let, let's come around here real all quick. Right, all right. You show me the way, Matt. Well, just open up all the storage all here. All right, all right, all right. Like Matt McConaughey says, all right, all right. All right, so here we have got your house batteries all right you like think that's funny well yeah yeah <laughs> um so we got we got your house batteries right here these are going to keep your uh these are going to keep your coach going um between that inverter that big 3000 watt inverter yep and uh these batteries uh you'll be able to keep your coach going for about a day is what i tell people without having to turn that generator on perfect okay continue but make on. sure you start full charge all right all right um in here you have then have your chassis batteries okay right? so um this is going to uh, obviously power the coach, and you have your DEF, which they call it another name out west, but we'll skip that. There you go. <laughs> All right, that is steerable tag again. Let's come over here. All right, so in here you have your docking station, right? You have your whole house purification, you have your Santa flush, your outdoor shower, yep. rinse things off, your power cord drill. Yep, right? very nice. Everybody says, now y'all come out to Utah, it gets chilly, right? Okay. We, it's not like that Florida weather, we got 70 degrees in the, 75 degrees in the morning. Okay? Oh yeah, and with humidity. With, oh my gosh, I'm wet and sweaty. Yes. So we got the uh, power cord drill, um, it's manual, pull it out, power, pull it back in. And when you get in that cold weather, those cords get so tight. So yes, they do, find, yes right? they do. A lot of copper and stuff inside, everything's, everything's cold, okay? So um, uh, then you have, this is one of the few that will actually send you out with uh, what, what I call a, a pooper pipe, right? Yep. You got your pooper pipe right there. Um, they give that to you. You can get your own if you want. Everybody. Just, I'd get your own. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't even. They're yeah. kind of weak sauce, the ones they give you. Yep, absolutely. Okay. All right. So, and as you guys have noticed, I'm doing the slam latches, but I don't want to slam them too hard, right? Well, people, people always yell at me for slamming the doors too hard. They call the slam latch for a reason. Hey, you know. Hey, That's probably my number one complaint is that I slammed the doors. So slam I'm, around and find out. Okay? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. Perfect. All so, of this again, is the yeah, other side of storage. And, and this nasty cardboard is just because it got a little bit wet when people were putting this in. This is your uh, uh, rock guard. Okay. I don't know the official name for it. I call it yep. a rock guard. Yep, definitely. Um, but uh, that's going to keep uh, rocks from chipping up the people behind you or your tow vehicle. Yep. And then this is just all the other side of that storage. Yeah. And then we also have a generator up front. Do you know yeah. what the generator size is? Uh, gosh, it's 12.5 on those. I think it's 10 on this one. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Great. Well, bam, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. It's and about bam time. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. And we're back and it is gonna be a little different because we are at an RV show and we have this unit discounted to $419,995. And that is for this stock number here, 248939. Now here's the thing, I'm sharing with you guys this pricing but odds are, if you're watching this past the show, we might not be able to get this exact pricing again. 
there is factory rebates and incentives, but reach out to my team by clicking the link down below. And here's what I can promise you. We'll do our best no matter what. And if somebody does plan on going to the Salt Lake City store, Brett, how does somebody get in contact with you? Okay, if you guys come out to the Salt Lake City store or you just wanna buy one from Salt Lake and travel to come get it. Yeah, okay? like California, Arizona, oh New Mexico. Goodness. We have so many customers from those areas Absolutely. that travel to Salt Lake City. Because California is crazy with their pricing. Oh, and yeah, taxes, everything's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Everything's crazy in California. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so um, if you guys want to come out uh, and see me, feel free to text me at 208-284-5178 uh, or call if you prefer. Also, you can email me at bambamrvman at generalrv.com. So. At General RV? Yeah. Bam Bam RV. I got man. it, yeah. That is so funny. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say at gmail.com. Uh, no, right. at generalrv.com. I got I got Gmail too, I think. But nice. So again, we're at the show. We're not gonna be able to show you what it looks like with the slide out saying. You guys have seen it. We've done reviews on this. If you really are curious to see it with the slide outs in, but here's what I will say: it is tight with the slide outs in. Brett, sit up front. Tell us a little bit about this chassis. All right. So sitting up here, we have got. I, sometimes I get confused which the American coach and which one has a uh, AC in the seats as well. This one does have the heated seats. Okay, very nice. Okay, so if we're sitting up here, uh, what uh, Rev likes to do is wrap you in the cockpit. Talk okay? to me. So they have got they've got um, one dedicated to cameras. Yep. Right, and then they have of course your digital uh, digital dials, and then right here you're going to have your radio, also um, your cameras and navigation, etc. Right. Everything else comes out of here. Cool. Yep. Um, up here, you do have your uh, auxiliary battery start. Now that comes in handy sometimes because if you've left your lights and stuff on for a couple days, mm -hmm. battery's gonna get low. House batteries. House batteries. And you can jump, or no, your chassis batteries, yep. and you can jump the chassis with the house batteries, And right? vice versa. Okay, cool, okay. cool, very nice. So, so um, this is going to allow you to uh, uh, to get that jump started if your house batteries actually are low is when we usually use it oh. You hold the auxiliary start hold down the prime and then if your house batteries low, you can still start your generator to charge it up Perfect. Bye Will. Bye. You going to the tent? I am. It's time. All to right. Start. Hey, Will. We'll see, see you. See you, buddy All right. So oh, hey, do you want to give a shout out to Backyard Social? Oh my <laughs> We yeah. had an experience at Backyard Social. I won't get into it. There you go. Hey, <laughs> shout out to the DJ, though. And shout out to the DJ who loved me. Yeah. He loved me. He, he, we had a bam good time. Okay. There you go. Continue on. <laughs> All right. So right here, we've got our drop-down bunk. Yep. Right? So this is actually not just a bunk. Talk right? to me. They're putting this in all of, their, all of the, um, uh, what was it, Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler, and... Uh, uh, they're not putting in American coach. American right. coach is a two-person coach. But they're putting it in all of the uh, Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler standard because it's not just a bed. Talk to me. What okay. is it? Okay, okay. So people, it's lock and key storage. Okay. All right. So people that don't have somebody to sleep there can actually take the key, lock and key, you put your uh, belongings you don't want touched. By yes. Someone else. Okay, very okay. good. God. Bam, bam you're going to get me canceled on YouTube. <laughs> Continue on. I would not want to cancel you. Continue, Matt, continue. YouTube, Matt Foxcroft. Okay? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So right here, we have got an additional sleeper. Okay. Right? So you got a, um, a hide a bed in there. And then you've got your TV that's on a televator. So people are like, well, what if I don't want to watch TV? Well, you just push that thing back down. It's actually not push. It's a button, right? So you push the power button, brings it back down. Um, above it, you do have a sound bar. And I believe that's a JBL. Usually that's what they put in these little bit higher end luxury coaches. Okay, perfect. Right? Um, sometimes it's Bose, sometimes it's JBL. Um, okay, so you have your accent lighting over here. You see that you've got your extended countertop right here. Yes. Right, and so it is on an electric lock. Okay. okay. So you push that button, you hear it engage. Yep. Slide it back in. Bada bing. Bada bam. Bada bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you like that? I do. I did. I, no, I was setting you up for it. I, I knew you were going to do something like that. <laughs> I'm thinking on my toes, all right? All right. So right here, we have your recliners with a place for a TV tray, right? Perfect. So you can sit. You can have your food right there. I think they've got it stored in here. This little guy's going to sit on there. And bam, you got your food. Perfect. All right. Cup holders as well and remote holders yeah. and some storage right there. Yeah. Show us this dinette. All right. So over here... 
we have got your standard tab table and chairs, right? Yes. It doesn't stop there. Talk to me. Bam! Extension, you can see four people, okay? It's yes, about damn time, right? All right. <laughs> All right, so we gotta slide that bad boy back in. And there is a lock for it, so it doesn't move in to travel. Yes, sir. Right? Good yes, storage sir. above as well. Absolutely. Look at this these cr this chrome hardware up here. Felt line cabinets, right? Yep. Because you don't want your stuff flying around while you're driving down the road. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? No, sir. No, sir. All right, of course, emergency exit. You've got more countertop right here. Um, and look at all the storage underneath here. Wow. Um, and if you open and close these, it, they just open and close really nice. Uh, Rev does a phenomenal job between their cabinetry, furniture, whole fitting, everything. Now, let me tell you something. People say I have a lot of energy, <laughs> but I feel like a mellow mushroom right now <laughs> because your energy first thing in the morning, I mean, you're always No on. coffee. I no. don't drink coffee. Yeah. No. No, this is straight high on life. God bless me. Yep, right? yep, right there. Right. We so, do have a nice uh, piece of Art Deco. Is that Art Deco? That is Art Deco. <laughs> <laughs> and right. right there, we do have a fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. That's right. Bam straight, it does. All right, now on this floor, it's a little bit dirty. They're about to come here and clean this here in a minute. But it is a heated floor, guys. Okay, yep. Heated floor. Which means that, okay, people are like, oh, I don't need a heated floor, I live in Florida. Okay, that's not true. Because if you're just trying to take the chill off, that's going to bring radiant heat into the coach. Mm. And you're going to be feeling good without having to turn on that furnace, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Joseph's kitchen. Okay, so in the kitchen, you have, of course, your solid surface countertops. You have your tower of power right there. Yes, sir. USB as well as 110. Yep. All right. Uh, and right here, you have your induction stovetop. Very nice. Okay. So this is an all electric coach. What's that mean? Why is that important? Why is that important? We're asking you. Okay. Well, I'm about, it's about damn time I tell you, all right? So what we got to do is not fill up propane, guys. Nobody likes to stop and fill up propane. It's obnoxious. It's cumbersome. You have to take your whole coach in to fill this thing up. And it happens. That's the way most of our gas coaches are. But if you can avoid that, get into an all-electric coach, life's gonna be smoother, easier, and uh, less time sitting at a dealership or a gas station. Perfect. Okay. Not only that, we got a dishwasher underneath. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sometimes it's the knock three times, you know, let you in. Yep. Um, you just have to lock it. Right now we don't have it locked. Nice, actually good sized dishwasher right here. Yes, sir. Right? Um, and then, of course, all your storage around. Uh, underneath here, you've got a nice cubby where you can store these right in there you're like oh where do i put these when i don't want them there well you just slide them right in there perfect nice backsplash very nice looking whirlpool and even though andre is not here we don't need her here because she definitely loves these valances hey andrea i just want to say that every time it's matt alone and i'd like you to come do a video with me sometime so here's your shout out all right there you go <laughs> all right so um again felt line cabinets so you're not having stuff fly over everywhere hardwood doors, um, and, and it's very ornate, right? But it's not too ornate that you feel like you're in a casino. It's just nice enough to make it feel like a, an elegant home. Very nice. Okay. So farmhouse sink, again, with the with the toppers. Um, some people will put like a little, uh, a little rubber stopper in there okay. to help reduce uh, noise travel down the road. Sure, sure. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's hard object on hard object, you hear a little bit of rattles. I always tell everybody there is not a single coach that's not going to have some rattles. Some are just quieter than others. Perfect. Okay. Uh, farmhouse sink. And underneath, again, great big storage. Hey, that's a $178 trash can. Woo! All right. <laughs> it's about BAM time. It's about BAM time. So right in here, you have got space for multiple trash cans if you want. Yeah, right? yeah. And again, what's the line? We got the lining there. So we got the line. So your trash can isn't going to slide around. However, with this much space, you may want to put something in there so it's not falling down while you're going down the road. Perfect. Okay. Residential refrigerator yes, and sir. pantry space. Take a look at this phenomenal pantry. Unreal. Oh, hey, that's a bam good pantry there. E okay, okay, okay. We're <laughs> All right. And it's, it's dual pantry, right? Yes. You got the top one and the bottom one. And so if you look in here, um, you've got, again, that residential refrigerator. You've got your, um, and it's cold in here because the generator's on. Sure is. Uh, but uh, filter, filtrated water. Um, and then, of course, you have your, uh, your tray up here, tray below, and your ice maker in there. All right. And then over here, Brett, if you don't mind holding the camera. Yes, sir. You, you see it on screen? Yeah. Right over here, we got our fuses, okay? 
really nice mirrored medicine cabinet right here. And bam, there's no liquefied. Womp womp. But we do have liquefied. You guys can get it by going to primepoopposition.com. We have a very nice solid surface sink right there. No storage underneath here. And this will pour some toilet. And it's a little tight. This is a half bathroom. But you know what? This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. <laughs> Show us the master bedroom. All right. Master of disaster. Here we go. So we have your king bed, right? Yes. A little tilt-a-bed. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be able to sit up in bed, watch TV, but if it's late at night, what do they have under here, Matt? Talk to me. We got a camera selector, okay? What's that do? That, that will allow you to bring up your security cameras, which are your blinker cams, Okay, right? okay. And, you, and your backup cam and be able to bring them up on here to see what's going on outside your coach during the, uh, if, if you hear something and you want to see what's going on. Bam. Bam! Right over here, we have tons of storage. Tons! Look at that. And here's your other set of chairs, right? Very nice. So you have your two chairs over there. That's your other foldable set. Uh, plenty of places you can adjust heights that you want. Hang your stuff. Close that up. Uh, right here, you've got your nice big drawers, full length drawers. And this will control your bed. Yep. In addition, they have now installed controls right there. Ah, very nice. Did you so you know don't that? No, I didn't. So yeah. now you don't need to go searching for that remote. I know, that drove me crazy. Wireless phone chargers and nice storage above there. And then to wrap it up in the master bathroom. All right, I'm gonna show you how awesome this BAM bathroom is. Kay? Talk to me. It's fantastic. So right here, we have your Whirlpool washer and dryer, right? Yep. Gotta keep it clean. I'm gonna have to say it for you. Talk to me. This is a prime pooping position. Go bing. Bam, bam, bam. Bing. Bing. Very nice. All right. So, and you got your pooper paper holder right here. Okay. All right. You can put the pooper paper right there. Uh, adjust these shelves to wherever you want. You know what else you can put there? Liquefied. Liquefied. <laughs> bing. Very nice. <laughs> I got to figure out where my bings are supposed to it's go. It's okay. Um, lots of places to put your bings in here, okay? Yep. So lots of space there, nice storage there, big full length drawer. Very nice. Engine access right there. Open dual this. sinks that are actually recessed in. Who doesn't love a dual vanity? Yes, vanity. Ain't nobody got time when they're feeling vain, right? And Brett, you need to back the heck up. Well, back, back up. I'm backing the heck up too. <laughs> Cause Big Will's here. Big right. Will. Go stand in that shower, sir. <clears throat> You a big fine mother. Why don't you pack that thing up? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very nice shower. Again, you know, all tile, hand tile, custom. I love the seat in here. You have good whip. Um, the skylight's in a great spot. This definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal sure approval. Is. And bam, that's it. That's the review. And what people don't know is we started this review before the show. Yeah. And then yeah, we we're ended a little it, hotter and sweatier. And now we ended it after the show. But your energy level is still off the Richter scale. You know what I'm saying? It. Yeah, man. Hey, high on life. There you go. And Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, before everybody leaves, we got to give people three things we love about this unit. Ooh. Three things we don't like. Which one do you want to do first? Mm, I want to do the three things we like. First? Okay. You first, go first. First things first, you have a bathroom suite. Yes. It's huge. Yes. Somebody can sleep on the floor back here if they wanted. It's absolutely massive. You got the prime poop position, the double sink, a shower big enough for Will, and the fact you get the stackable washer dryer. That is love listen, number one. Listen, right here, my wife does not like to share her space okay. in the bathroom. Yep. Okay. She takes all my stuff. It needs to stay on my side. Yep. She likes to have her side. I'm well, on the right. She's on the left. Well, see, you haven't met my wife because my wife takes this side as her side and this side. that side is her side. <laughs> that is number one. Brett, uh, tell us like number two. Like number two is going to be... And we only got about four minutes left. So all right, we'll be quick. We'll double be quick. time. I love, the, I love the opportunity to be able to sit up in bed and watch TV. Oh, that's right? funny. Um, because people are like, oh, it's like a hospital bed. It'll be easy to get in and out. Yeah, that's one thing. But I like to watch TV in bed. Okay. 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 Um, that's like number two. Like number two. And then like number three. Like number three is going to be, I like a heated floor. Talk to me. That is useful in Florida because when you just need to take the chill off, yep. you don't have to start your whole furnace, turn the heat. It's going to bring the radiant heat into the coach. Can I get a fourth like? I guess. Okay. Fourth no, like. Nobody's going to stop you. All right. I love the central vac. Okay. I, I hate 
it with the dustpan, trying to sweep it, sweep it, and you keep missing it, missing it, when you can just sweep it right into the little sweeper, right? There you go. Foot kick sweep. That's, that's four things you like about it. Now it's time for four things you don't like about it, and it's funny, because even though Brett said he liked it, my dislike number one, I do not like the tilt-up bed. Okay. Not only that, I hate how you have to tilt the bed up. Uh -huh. It's not the tilt-up bed. The fact that you have to tilt it up during transit and nobody can be laying here with the slide-outs in, it has to be up. For me personally, that is dislike number one. Okay. And you can put your finger up, sir. <laughs> but this is, I'm putting this, my finger up. This Let is me a, tell you why. This is an opinion-based show. No. Somebody can sleep like this no, in ain't, transit. Yes, get, they can. Get out of here. That's dislike number one. You're not over six feet, Matt. Don't tell me. <laughs> Brent, what is dislike number two? Uh, dislike number two, gosh, there's not much to dislike in this coach. It is very tough in this coach. Yeah. Um, I would say maybe, I personally, I like a booth. It's an opinion. It's a, Booth it's a, dinette. I like a booth dinette. I've got kids. I When I'm ever at a restaurant, I do go and sit in a booth. I got, I got four kids, guys. Oh, yeah. And it's not comfortable to have to try to deal with chairs and things like that. That's number two, and that kind of leads up to my dislike number three. For me personally, as much as I like a bunk over the cab, this bunk over the cab does come down here, so it does make it harder to enter and exit. God forbid That's if you true. do have a guest. I, I did hit my head on it coming in. Yeah, That's not true. only that, for my tall friends like Will, he yep. hits his head coming in. You know what I'm saying? On a high-end diesel pusher, that's just something else. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely no. not. Do you ever have to drop that bed down? Absolutely not. But for the people who do need that additional sleeping area, it is a pain in the butt to crawl underneath. There. I can get that. I get that one. But Brett, yeah, that's it. Have you had a bam good time? Oh, earlier, earlier today, and then later today, yeah. I don't like doing reviews in between a ten-hour day at the RV <laughs> show. How many new customers have you gotten? Oh this my show? gosh, I countless. I've got a full list of notes that I'm the people I'm following up with. I've sold a handful in the past week and a half. So. Well, we appreciate you yeah. coming all the way down to Florida and spending time away from your family. Nuts. It's about damn time. It's about bam time. It's about bam time. <laughs> hey, bam, what do you want to say to America? Uh, America, I want you guys to have a bamtastic day. If you come into General RV, I will get you the best bam deal in America. And if you have any bam questions, you can call my bam number. <laughs> <laughs> guys, that's it. That's the review. Give him a call. I'll give you a bam tour. <laughs> if you thought he was a little extra like I do, you can always click our link down below. <laughs> but if you plan on going to Salt Lake City or you see this guy in an RV show, Make sure you tell me you saw it on Matt's RV reviews. And one more time, what's your cell number? Area code 208. I'm an Idaho spud. 208-284-5178. Idaho spud living in Utah, selling in Florida. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys next time with another RV review.